we are here now at the church um, of St. Simeon the Just. St. Simeon the Just was um, a very devout Jew who actually is believed to be one of the original 70 translators of the Septuagint from the Old Testament, uh, who was uh, commissioned by Ptolemy the Great in Egypt to translate uh, the Hebrew scriptures from Hebrew into Greek. Uh, that happened about 250 years before Jesus Christ uh, was born. However, uh, as the story goes, uh, he was one of the 70 translators, and as he came upon the prophecy that had to do with uh, the virgin giving birth in Isaiah, uh, he said to his fellow translators that he, could, he would not believe in this because a virgin cannot give birth. And he said the only way he would believe in this is if he threw his ring into the water and it would come back to him again miraculously. And so he threw his ring into the water and later he went to eat uh, along the seaside with his friends. And the fish that came to him in his meal had his ring inside its belly. And so he believed in that, uh, in that uh, prophecy. And an angel appeared to him at that time and said, because you did not believe in uh, the word of God, you will live and not die until you see the Messiah. And so uh, St. Simeon lived for over 250 years waiting to see the Messiah. He was an extremely old man at the time when Jesus was brought to the temple at 40 days after his birth to be dedicated, the Saradismo as we say. And St. Simeon was there and took him in his arms. And St. Simeon, as we know, has the, same, the famous prayer at that time, which we always read, the priests read at the end of every Vesper service, which says, Lord, let now your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and a glory for your people Israel. Very beautiful hymn, prophesizing about who Christ will be and what he will do. This behind me is the actual tomb of St. Simeon. His body is not here, as it is his, most of his relics are in, uh, in Croatia today. But this is the original tomb where he was uh, buried. And this is the chapel which houses him and where his home was. And this is the church. It's a very small church, but a very beautiful one here um, in Jerusalem, in the outskirts of Jerusalem. As you can see, here is the dome. And his relics, a piece of his, re uh, of his body is uh, contained in this chapel, in this icon here, where you see that the relics are um, embedded uh, in the icon right there. This is the, um, the relics of St. Simeon the Just, the God-bearer uh, who held Jesus in his arms.